So here guys, as you can see, Bacon is sick. Now he's suffering from internal parasites and bacterial infections caused by those parasites. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to deworm a flower horn step by step the right way, nothing to panic. So here we go. Now you need metronidazoles. 400 mg tablets take one tablet mix it in about 4 ml of water mix it with anything you can get according to you make sure it's evenly mixed and smashed and powdered so keep mixing until you see a frothy mixture keep mixing also the next thing i want to tell you about is while deworming your flower horn do not panic do not hesitate because the fish will jump sometimes if it's too weak it won't be able to do that so mix this well we are using metronidazole 400 mg <clears throat> as you can see it's available in different brand names fragile 400 mg so here's the fraudy mixture we have so we are all set to go to so get your flower horn on a damp or a wet small towel or a napkin as you prefer mix the solution once again fill the syringe about half full now cover the fish half with the towel it's going to bite the syringe sometimes sometimes they're not going to do that so just try to go gently as you can see the gills moving at that very place there are teeth or grinders of the fish and the weight to its stomach so just aim or get that syringe between those teeth it should be straight and as you feel you can keep turning and twisting it but don't put too much of pressure as you can see he is chewing on the syringe so as you get that spot inject slowly since it's one tablet in a mixture of 4 to 5 ml the more water the more light the solution becomes so we do not have to dose the whole thing We just need to dose half of the mixture into the flower horn stomach. So gently again slowly twist and turn. Wait for him to take those gulps and then press it in. The next thing I want you guys to do is that remove the excess mixture. Since the stomach has already absorbed the medicine, so we have to remove the excess water or the excess liquid inside. You may not be able to see the liquid coming out, but in most cases, whenever I deworm my customers' flower horns, and in this, you can see a little bit of water coming out of the stomach. Sometimes it does, sometimes it does not, sometimes in a lot of amount, sometimes in very less amounts. So don't panic if your flower horns outside the water for about a minute or more than that. It's not going to die that quickly. These fishes are very hardy even inside the water and outside the water. So you don't have to take that tension. Just deworm. Complete the process once and for all. That's it. Put him in the net and add him back to your tank. 